channel so today I've got a really exciting video because I'm combining one of my favorite things to do which is makeup which I haven't done a makeup video in ages because I'm not a professional at makeup I don't feel like I'm like qualified to do tutorials for people because just no um, and also Primark because you guys know I love Primark so I have bought a full face of makeup from Primark the only thing I didn't have is an eyebrow pencil and their concealer but Everything else is from Primark and we have got some good stuff in here. I'm actually shook by how this, I'm going to show you how to do this brown glitter eye with the red lip, which is perfect for Christmas. I'm interested in seeing what products I use to get this, what I thought of the products, then please keep watching. So don't forget to enter my giveaway, which is linked in the description box down below. It ends on the 29th of December, so you should probably go enter it now. I honestly love the fact I look like I'm queuing up in prison for a mugshot, like the actual state of me right now. Love that. Okay, so whenever I seem to sit down and do a makeup video, which let's be honest, I don't do them very often, but whenever I do, I seem to be having the worst skin breakout of all time. This is just top tip. We've got Jerry, we've got Jeff, we've got, we've got everyone. It's all happening on my face today. You can tell I don't do makeup videos very often because I've literally forgotten to open everything before starting. Okay, so to start off the makeup look, I'm gonna be taking the, I was about to say Primark. Everything's from Primark, obviously. Um, the Vitamin Primer, which has B3, B5, and E vitamins. And yeah, how much was it? was three pounds. Oh my God, this actually smells really nice. By the way, I have like my little table mirror down here. So if I kind of look down here every now and then, that's what I'm looking at. So face is primed with our moisturizer primer. And I'm also just going to take this water primer, which is two pounds. I actually already had this in my makeup collection, but I think I've only used it once. So it doesn't count. Oh, dripping. That is so bloody refreshing. It might be winter, but it is hot in my room with this ring light on. And that was everything I needed and more. Says it's hot and then sips tea. We are gonna start with our base makeup today just because this little situation needs to be covered. So I'm gonna be taking the My Perfect Color Longwear Ultimate Matte Foundation, which is five pounds, mine is in the shade Nude Beige and it says it's a double coverage. I have actually used this once before. I bought it ages ago, but I haven't used it again, but I remember, I think I quite liked it, so. Let's get into it. Also got this four pack of beauty blenders, blending sponges. So you've got a big one and then tiny little ones. These were £2.50, which I think is so good. So yeah, let's see if this one's any good. I'm gonna spray it with a bit of this so I don't have to get off. Is it just me that hates using a new like blending sponge? Because they're always so bloody hard when you first do it. Thing is, I think this foundation works really nicely when I have fake tan, but obviously I am as pale as anything. This is the first time in like the whole year that I haven't fake tan. I hate this sponge. I hate it already. I hate it. I hate it. I really, really hate it. Sorry to literally ruin the whole like full face video, but I'm not using this. This is like using a brick. This is like finding a rock on the beach and using it. It's not happening. My absolutely filthy Real Techniques brush. I actually only washed it the other day, but yeah, whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and use that because ain't nobody got time to literally beat their face. The more I've started blending it in, the more I'm not that offended by it. It's a little bit dark in some places. Like it's quite orangey. But again, like I said, if I had fake tan on, that would have worked so well. So it's kind of my own fault, really. One thing I couldn't find was a Primark concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and add um, my own. I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape. And hopefully that will lighten this whole thing up a little bit. Okay, so foundation and concealer is all blended in. I'm actually pretty impressed with the coverage of this foundation. I really like I'm it. to add a little bit of colour, a little bit of like depth some contour so i have the bronze and glow highlighter palette this is a five pounds really satisfying packaging but um open it up and it's also got some bronzy contour shades it's got the shades copper and sandstone which look like they will be quite nice contour shades and i have this little brush set so you get one two three four five brushes in here for eight pounds 
I love how sparkly and pink they are. I feel like this would actually be a really cute like stocking filler, Christmas kind of present. However, I don't know how well they're going to apply contour. So, the brushes also come with this extra as hell, which I love, um, a little sleeve to put them in. Sorry, that's the cutest thing ever. I love this. Oh, okay. Um, this brush is good at applying the product, but it's not very good at blending it. Do you know what? It's actually not that bad. It's quite a nice color. I just feel like the brush isn't the best but we're gonna keep working with it. But the actual product itself is really good and I'm just gonna put this kind of around like the outer, outer parts of my face. I'm really sorry if I keep looking at the viewfinder, I'm kind of using it as a mirror, but I'm just gonna apply it on the outer parts of my face. Before I put any liquid products on, I just wanna set what I do have on my face already. So I'm gonna take the loose mineral powder. This was two pounds and this is in the shade porcelain. It just looks like this. I love a good translucent setting powder, although this kind of has a little bit of color. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna take the rock that we had earlier and I'm just gonna use that to kind of apply it onto my face. The rest of my face and just kind of like pat it in. Why is my dog barking? Time for highlight, which is probably the most or my most favorite part. So I have this strobing highlighter cream. I don't have the price on it anymore, which is annoying, but I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. It's a really like pearly kind of pink. Right, it's like the, basically where I'm gonna be putting powder highlighter. I cannot talk today. And then I think I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of dab it in. We love that. We love a bit of glow on the face. Go back in with this one and actually use it for the highlighter. And I think I'm gonna go for this more whitey, what's this one called? It's called Moonlit. I think I'm gonna go for that one. This gold one looks amazing, but I'm not tanned, so. They don't have a like highlight brush in, this is actually a contour brush, but they don't have one in the set. So this is just an old Macasa brush. And I'm just gonna take some here. Okay, Moonlit. Um, She's here, she's gold, um, and she's bold. Obviously, I'm about to do my eye makeup, but I just wanna set this makeup down with the Glow Setting Spray. I got this the other day, separately to all of these bits that I bought, and I've used it once or twice, and I love it already, but... It smells kind of weird at first, but then it smells really nice and it is so refreshing. And I think it says, yeah, it has like aloe vera in here. I would definitely recommend this one. I love it so much. I've had a few people ask me about this, whether it's good or not. And like 10 out of 10. And again, the price isn't on here, but I think it was like four pounds. Oh, there's like a bit of highlight in here. Let the insides glow from within. One of my favorite makeup items to buy is eyeshadow and Primark came through. I saw this and it kind of looks like a Huda Beauty Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette. This was eight pounds. How amazing do these look? There's so many like gorgeous shimmers and like pinks and stuff. Love that. So I've either got this one to play with or I have the Glitter Obsessed Glitter Eye Palette, which is four pounds. This is the Gold Rush one. And there's loads of glitters. I feel like the other one is a little bit more wearable but we might give this one a go. Oh, they're like, cr oh my God. Oh my God, that's not playing. I didn't expect that. I love this. I freaking love it. Haven't got it on my eyes yet. Could be crap, but I love it. I also have this liquid glitter eyeshadow. This is three pounds and it's in the shade pink and it's kind of like a rose goldy one, which to be fair, I'm leaning towards this because Christmassy glam vibes, but I want to use all three, to be I honest. I now have these three brushes left to use. I'm probably going to have to use a few of my own blending brushes as well because... So I'm going to start off with this palette first. I have no idea what eye look I'm doing, by the way. I'm literally just winging this entire thing. But I think I'm going to start off with this shade up here as just kind of like a base to set down that concealer that we already put on our eyes earlier. Do you know what? I didn't expect that to have any colour to it, and it actually has. I feel like these are going to be really underrated, but amazing shadows. 
I've just realised that my absolute favourite highlighter at the moment is the Primark Double Dimensions Goddess Highlighter and I didn't even use it. Um, we're going to sort that out right now. We're going to add a bit of that because I'm mad at myself as if I forgot. I'm going to go in with, oh my god, I'm just going to go in with this brown again. I'm just going to play around with the browns and the transition colours until I think of what I want to do. So I'm going to focus most of the colour in the crease, but I'm essentially going to put it all over my eyelid anyway. Actually, I like that colour so much, I'm going to keep packing this onto the lid because I feel like I know what I want to do now. And it's going to be like a goldy vibe, bronzy vibe situation for Christmas. So let's just keep packing that on. Okay, so that brown is literally popping. I'm living for this. It's applying so, so nicely and yeah, the colour payoff. We could be quite messy with this because I will clean it up with concealer at the end. I do that with all my eye makeup, but. So, shadow is finally open and it looks like this. Oh God, it's getting super washed now. I think what I want to do is place this in the middle of my eyelid. So pretty. I feel like you have to keep going into the pot and like getting more product because not a lot comes out in one go. But when it does, it is very, very pretty. So I placed that in the middle of the eye and I'm going to go back with the brown and just add it to the outer corners. But something's like not great with it. Like it's just not enough. So I think we might use that other glitter palette. I think I'm going to apply this with my finger. And I'm going to go in with this shimmery one here. It's like a mixture of silver and gold glitter. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. And then let's just blend it all together again. Decided to go back in with this palette and take the gold here on this a flat little brush and add it to the center with the other glitter and it actually mixes really really well. I just can't be mad at this pigmentation, honestly. This glitter shadow is honestly less offensive than I thought it would be, and I'm really happy about that. I'm now going back into this one again and taking the same brown that we put all over the lid, and I'm gonna put that underneath the eye as well clean everything up with a tiny bit of concealer and then I will be back. Why am I not playing with these lashes? There are the Diva Faux Mink Lashes. Um, these are four pounds. And then there's the 3D Iconic False Eyelashes with glue. To be honest with you guys, this is a really nice mascara. It goes on really, really nicely. It's super black. I love how thick the wand is. Pretty good. Okay, so the poll has only been up for like three minutes, so it's only got four votes, but all of them said left side, which were these 3D iconic ones. So we're just gonna go with these. Um, oh my God, these look like they should be so much more expensive than what they are. They look amazing, but because I've got the tiniest little eyes ever, I'm probably gonna have to cut them down. I'm now gonna take this matte lip kit because I have got like three or four of these in different colors and I love them. Um, I don't wear red lipstick very often, but I hope it's nice. For three pounds, you get the lip liner and the matte liquid lipstick. And these look so similar to the Kylie Jenner lip tip. Um, This red lip liner is the pinkest red I have ever seen. So I'm gonna take the NYX Cold Brew liner and put that on over the top before I do the lipstick. Finished makeup look. I'm actually really happy with it. At like several points throughout this video, I thought it was all going to shit. I actually really like it. I actually really like the red lip. I love just like the brown and gold on the eyes and the eyelashes are really nice as well. You guys made a really good choice on my Instagram. Thank you. So if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new here. And don't forget to enter my giveaway as well, which is in the description. It's the Gleam link. It's open until the 29th of December. So you kind of want to like enter it now. Um, but yeah, I will see you in my next one.